Sorry? It's a long phone. ഒരുപാട് <laughs> So this is your traditional song. Yes. Uh, I mean prayer something. Huh? Prayer. I mean uh, related to God. No, 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 no. Ah, no. uh, sorry. No. For darling. Sorry? <laughs> it's a love song. It's a love. Oh, it's a love song. Uh, okay. Love song. Love song. Uh, so which is the language? Check it son. Check it son. Your own language. Yeah. This is a bonus. This is a bonus. This is a bonus. This is a bonus. The Jenny Lulu cultural troupe from Chang The launch of Yishi Festival which is the primary festival of the Waziho village Through this dance the village people seek divine blessings for the bountiful harvest of their cultivation Today, the game is called Rong Dia or the traditional stone lifting. Mohan la volunteers Tita Ase. First, Mohan la cultural troop Garo Khanra Dikai Diwo. He will try to lift the stone and cross the stone. the demarcated line <laughs> okay I'm not I'm not going to 
A huge round of applause. Come on! Come on, come on, come on. 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 Come on, while the women folk would be busy with the coaching. <laughs> Producing threads from raw cotton requires the following processes. First, we require the machine which separates the seeds and cotton. This, in the traditional times, was made by the Zilians and it was called Bingam. After the seeds were separated from the cotton, it was time to soften the cotton, which is called lempi. This process is called lemui. On the left, the men are trying to produce fire using a thread or rather a strip of bamboo and wood. Usually, to pass their time, they would sing songs. This display of the cotton spinning by the Ziliams is called Kelang Dal and Gentlemen, the Middle Komi Village Cultural Truth, representing the Chakisang Naga tribe of Nagaland, will perform to us a folk dance called Kono to mark the victory over evil. to us their victory dance, Kuno. For the Aichi Sakimi cultural troupe representing the Sumis of Nagaland, they will be performing for us the rice pounding song. Oh, young girls of Sakimi village will sing a song of rice pounding. You may all please listen to it. Oh, this is the way of life of our ancestors. Rice pounding begins when the ripened grain is collected. It is stretched out from the patty. Oh, how beautiful is our field as it grows up. Ladies and gentlemen, the Aichi Sakimi Cultural Troupe.
आई खेचा खेवी The folk song is about preparation of paddy field. The farmers in the village form a group consisting of men and women. They clear and weed the field. The work of the gents is to dig and mix the soil. Ladies break the soil cloths, then seeds are sown. This group work with each other in different fields throughout the year till the time of harvesting. It shows a sign of their friendship and unity. A threat from wild animals or a threat even from your neighbors. While working in the field, it was very common that the neighboring villagers, head hunters, would come and take the head of the villagers. During cultivation, the men would usually lead from the front cutting down the larger branches or the trees. The women, in synchronization, would follow the men trying to plow the field. The sentries would also help to hunt down animals, birds, which can then be brought back and cooked for the people working in the field. Cultivation was usually a community's work. Cultural truth from Kohima, representing the Lothar tribe of Nagalan. Today, they will perform for you a Lothar folk dance called Ima Tata. The Kur Imong is the premier festival of the Lothars of Nagalan. This is a post-harvest festival usually celebrated in the month of November. Their feet and signifying and signifying their joy, their happiness and their enthusiasm. Following that performance, we have from Kikwema village representing the Angami tribe of Nagalan. This is called Jisu, Jisu Le Chadi. Greeting by Christianity. This song sings about being obedient to our Almighty Father. It speaks about being happy and always being by the side of our Almighty One. which happens on the first three days of the first week of the month of May. The dance marks the end of the seed sowing and it's a sign of relaxation after the toil and labor of the sowing season in the villages. The 
festival is celebrated through various forms of vicarious folk activities and merrymaking. All young and old, men and women, gather with full dress, attire and ornaments during the Matsu festival and it is celebrated with high grandeur. Thank you.